All right. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to uh, one of our first sessions. Um, the people you're about to hear, I'm very proud of because I, I, myself and Ruth, they, we talk about what they know about Drupal. And, you know, it's going to prove that you can actually um, go in and learn new stuff. Or wait, right? How long you can to work? Our phone's making a lot of noise. Whoever's moving their paperwork, he, 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 and that was Mary. Okay. No, it wasn't Mary. Anyhow. So they need a presentation. They, they've come a long way. They've learned new skills. They're running a number of, probably about 20 different um, Drupal websites with all the complications. They're migrating it from one server to another server. And so they've learned a lot of different skills. And I'm really, you know, I'm happy they've, that they've done so well with it. You know, it, 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 it's difficult. It's scary. I have clients who I tried to teach Drupal. And, you know, my cat was just here a minute. I have better, she was better with pre-calculus than some people out there learning Drupal. So I'll leave it to you guys, as far as Yolanda, Mary, and Tina, there'll be others that might be speaking. Doug is hiding in the background. He's the, the, the head honcho there. There's Ruth Lee, who can pop on, say hello if she wants. She's the other, other, the other teacher. And uh, they're gonna talk about a little bit of their story, because it's inspirational. You know, we had someone else earlier this morning in our open in our open mic section when they basically stated you know they just got involved in Drupal recently. So all right, take it away. Okay. So I'm gonna just start off by uh sharing a little bit about the uh program, the training. So um for working adult learners the difficulty in managing their work schedules, child care responsibilities uh, coming up with uh, expensive tuition fees. It, this can be challenging for working adults. And what has uh, happened is that the CWA, Communication Workers of America, uh, have done a joint training initiative and it was formed to offer a coordinated public and technical response uh, to an alternative learning path to working adult members. Uh, their dependents and their families, and also to address disparities within the tech field and provide greater opportunity for its members and their families. The Communication Workers of America Local 1180 and its signatory partners have provided training for working adults since 2015 under a joint collaborative labor management committee. Uh, emphasis is placed on collaboration and developing a team and highly trained communication workers to deal with the challenges of the current moment. Uh, apprentices access cross-disciplinary teams uh, with the goal of developing those skills essential to design, build, and maintain communication networks. Different tools are employed throughout the training and the apprenticeship, including Drupal. Classes and courses and assignments are completed on evenings, the weekends. Uh, successful program graduates uh, may go on to uh, as developer apprentices, which is uh, earn while you learn. So the apprentices get the opportunity to learn valuable skills and get paid while they're doing it, which is great. Uh, the CD CWA training program has now expanded to offer opportunities to people um, with its launch of the 2021 academic uh, year with distant a distant learning component. So now it's just more easier and convenient to access this quality um, preparation. Uh, CWA is at the forefront of preparing its public sector workers for new technologies uh, of the future, which is a great thing. Um, and just to tell you a little bit about myself and my experience uh, with the program, um, I'm a third year apprentice and I have definitely been just in awe of this program and the support that we get. So, Basically, uh, my name is Antina Perry, and I've been with CWA over 10 years. Um, I heard about this training program through my... I went to the orientations. Uh, I was excited about it. There was a lot of people there. Um, 
I started to attend the classes and the classes were very convenient as a working adult. Uh, just again, with all of the issues that working adults have, their family life, their working life. So the classes were geared towards uh, working adults, uh, part-time, uh, evening classes, weekend classes. Um, so, and then uh, the instructor, they're, they're always there to assist you. And also just your fellow uh, classmates. The, the, the community we had in the classes were great and still do as apprentices. Um, Drupal is something that I knew nothing about coming into these classes. I knew nothing about Drupal at all. And um, the what I've learned about Drupal is just so valuable. In the community that Drupal have, we, we've experienced meetups and different Drupal events and just becoming familiar with the just every component of it and you definitely uh run into some challenges but that's where the community comes in and that's where the fellow apprentices have come in to help me and i've learned a different different components of drupal um i like the views i i like trying new things i i kind of like the back end as well working on the back end so for me this has been a great opportunity and i just look forward to continue working with drupal and learning new things so it has been a wonderful experience for me so um i'll introduce you to mary the next apprentice hi guys my name is mary kenny um, I heard about this program from a colleague of mine. I was reading books on um, technology, networking, and he was actually in the apprentice program. So I wanted to be a part of it also because he was doing some design stuff and I always like to learn how to design things. So all I had to do was pass the exam and pass a couple of Drupal classes and I had no idea what Drupal was and learn how to build a website. And I did, and it was a lot of fun. And I met new friends along the way. And Scott and Ruthie, thank you. You were the best teachers. <laughs> and now we're a paid apprentice. And I really enjoy learning all the stuff that I learn. It just fires my brain up. I love it. Um, it's taken me to places that I couldn't even imagine like doing. So I would encourage you to definitely join the program if you're interested. Um, everything's going to be kind of online now for a while, and it's fun. It's interesting. Um, I'll pass it to Toya now. Toya? My name is Toya Flowers. I learned about the program through my year. I also went to an orientation where I met fellow um, apprentices, and they talked about their experiences, and I really wanted to decided to join up to take the classes. The classes were in the evening, which was great since I worked full time. Um, I did two years, two classes, sorry. <laughs> sorry, a little bit nervous. But I really enjoyed the classes. They were, it was, I can't even speak. The, the fellow students in the class were very helpful. We learned from each other. We even sometimes went to Whole Foods on a weekend to uh, work on the homework and to learn from each other, to help each other out. Um, I also, um, the teachers were excellent, Ruthie and Scott. They were very good in conveying the information and learning from them. Um, I also loved make, designing my own website. And I would encourage anybody else who's interested in the classes. It was really, um, I really enjoyed my experience and my current time working as a princess. Uh, my favorite thing is working with the data, um, you know, manipulating it. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm now going to turn it over to Yolanda, a fellow apprentice. Afternoon, Drupalers. My name is Yolanda White. I am with a, a member of the local 1180 union, CWA. I've been a member for 10 years. So while I was attending one of the union meetings, uh, they told us about computer classes, and it wasn't just Excel or Word. It was coding and developing something about Drupal, which I never heard of, so I was intrigued. So one early cold Saturday morning, I went to an open session, and there we meet Doug running late, walking to the Blue Donuts. So there were a lot of unsuspecting city workers just wanting to know about this. And he told 
told us that there would be two sessions of training of two professions, and then there's a chance you could be an apprentice, so you could earn while you learn. So that was something to strive for, something to obtain. And he also said that famous line, look to your left and look to your right. These people will not be here at the end of this course. So I felt that was a challenge and I never backed down from a challenge. But in the beginning, there were two full classes, but it wasn't just the members, it was also the members' families. So it was mothers and sons, it was husbands and wives. So I thought that was a great thing that you could share learning experience with your loved ones. Because learning is growing and growing is living. So by the end of the first session, the two full classes dwindled down to one class. <laughs> and now the real fun begins. So after the lesson, we were given a chance to complete our, our assignment. While everyone else was just click, 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 clicking away, knowing what they were doing, I was still like, okay, so last week lesson, um, how do I get from here to there? So I felt a little, just a little behind, but uh, I just kept picking away. I kept, just kept plugging at it. So when it was time to present our individual website, some people had bells and whistles with YouTube and music and slideshows. And I just had a basic page with welcome to my website with some images and some captions. But I still didn't let it get me down. And I passed the second session. And Doug asked me to be an apprentice, and I was like, oh, he must be done. Because I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. And I ran home to my husband, and I said, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. And he said, you've always been a nerd. So now during COVID, of course, everything is virtual. And we've been all working. I feel like isolated. We jump on calls to dissect uh, Scott's instructions. And we bond together over content type, migration, get in Apache. So it transfers over to my job because I didn't know nothing about Zoom before COVID. And now I'm sharing my screen and presenting during training. They changed our website on how we clock in. And they said, we're going to a stage site to a live site. And I was like, oh my God, I know what they're talking about. And then, because we have to always update data at work on a lot of files, I don't do cut and paste anymore. I hyperlink now. I have upgraded to hyperlink. So hopefully, um, I will use my skills to advance, you know, maybe in a technology job or make my own website for blogging or family events or helping my sister present her designer bag. But with Drupal, I have opportunities to learn Thank you. Well, that's the conclusion of our presentation. Uh, we did, uh, I see that it was posted. If anyone wants any information on the course, it's in the chat Drupal course at CWA1180.org. Uh, we can stick around for a few minutes. If anyone has any questions to post in the chat, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Or if Scott, if you have anything else to say, um, we'll just look for if there's any questions in the chat. Yeah, so thank you those for the awesome presentation. Also, I want to bring Doug in, who's the head of our Union Web Services. Although he hmm, seems to be having trouble joining. <laughs> Poor Doug, and never the uh, always seems to have trouble with the technology. We have our summer online. Question. Yes. Um, no, you do not have to be a member of TW. I think you need to have no, you may need to know someone who's there. Um, Doug, can you answer that? Doug, okay. okay. So I'm not a member okay. of 1180. 
there, there, I know that we that some of the students, some of these uh, apprentices I taught were not members of the union, but I think they had family members or some other connection. Um, so Doug, the, fir the first question is, do you have the to, to join this, to enroll? Okay, great. And then just to Ruthie's question, um, when we talk about how the course has changed our full-time job, uh, for me, it has given me the skills, uh, the analytical skills uh, with websites and, and just kind of the behind the scenes design. Uh, we recently actually updated the, uh, my, my full-time job's website and I actually designed it and I was pretty proud of myself. And when I looked at the work, I was happy. Um, you know, I just built up this wireframe and, and to put in the links and everything of how it should look. Um, so for me, it has helped me with just organizing and uh, just employing those technical skills, tr trying to really figure things out, how they work, how the connection works. So it has really uh, been valuable to me. And Tina, why don't you uh, share the link with everybody? I'm sorry? Why don't you share the link of the work or the site you launched? Uh, that's my job site. I don't want to really put the link up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, right after the question. So who else has some questions? So right now the question, the, the question. Yeah, right, right. Sorry. Right now, they're going to be online for now, obviously, because of COVID reasons. Um, and and we'll, we'll have new sessions starting shortly. Um, Doug, which is UWS support, can answer that. I know we're going to we're probably going to have two 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 different um, courses: one in SysOps and server side, and one on uh, Drupal front end. And we may sneak some to the CRM just for fun. I think Doug keeps on having trouble. What is a qualified not member? So I have a question, guys. Now you look back on, on where you began, and when you go to do something in Drupal, do you remember when that's something, what you're doing was something that sounded like unbelievably foreign and challenging? And now, you do, now it's easy? Yeah, I definitely enjoy it more now than when I first did and when I was learning about it. Absolutely. Someone asked, what were your biggest... Okay. So that's how ask what were your biggest challenges? I challenges. think for me it was uh, the language. I, um, I didn't understand. It was Greek to me. Let's just put it that way. It was like, what is my SQL? What is the ACL? You know, you and you think it's just a muscle in the leg. So therefore, learning the jargon of the technology language, it was just all new to me. Like, I need a dictionary. Or I need a thesaurus. I need something to translate this into real words, and that was a big challenge for me. For me, the challenge was this: I guess having enough time to, you know, just studying and learning it. But it was great since I have a uh, programming a degree in programming. I really enjoyed it, being able to actually use some of what I learned and what I obtained with my degree, actually ap applying that to what I was learning in the class. So it was really great. For me, it was paying attention to detail and not bringing down the site. <laughs> I think my biggest challenge. We, we all yeah. do that in the beginning. My big 
I would say my biggest you know, challenge probably was um, just the keep trying. Like if something doesn't work and you got to just keep at it, try different ways and keep at it, just the repetitiveness of, of trying to figure things out. And sometimes you just want to hit your head up against the wall. Like, why is this not working? And then after you've worked on it for hours on end, it, you know, sometimes it could be the smallest thing that you miss, which goes to Mary with the attention to details. <laughs> So that was probably my biggest challenge. <laughs> so, so would you say it's true that you learn mostly when it when when you crash and screw up than when you do it successfully? I so. <laughs> yeah. See, now you know all about APIs. You know about MySQL. You know about Linux. You know about SSH, and all the little, all the little things that are in between how to spin up a new server, how to go troubleshoot, go through the logs. So it, it's, it's a lot to learn and you gain more and more. And, you know, there are a lot of people on this call, I don't know what, what they are, but I know like Bass is, you know, experienced and you know, he knows what we've all been through. Um, you guys were working with, um, you were working on six or seven on the sites. Yeah. Or sorry, seven. Yeah, you know, we were working on seven. Have you started playing with eight yet and migrating to eight? So do you have plans to migrate from um, the sevens to the nines and seven, eight, um, the end of life is less I'm than one sure we'll today? <laughs> Um, Mike, you, the new course will definitely be on eight and nine. The seven's kind of, you know, there's no sense to serve anymore. Though it gets tough from a teaching standpoint in that there are some out there, like they used to be a lot of six sites. But, I, you know, it, it, it's tough. I teach for the future and not for the past. Actually, um, there's actually a migrate to Drupal 9 tomorrow um, via the migrate API session. So that may be a good way to move from 7, seven to 8 to 9. You know, the advantage is, is once you get past 8, is that the updates and upgrades are not going to be as drastic as they used to be. And that, that would be a big help. Scott, I have a question. And we have Pauline. Yay. Hi, Pauline. Scott, I have a question for you. Yes. How do you feel, because you're so far advanced with Drupal, how did you feel teaching people who had no clue what Drupal was? <laughs> I like doing that because I remember what it was like when I knew nothing. I remember I was going to the Drupal meetups and it's often to be like way above my, my, what I knew. And I have no idea what they're talking about. And I, I go home with all these notes and I get home all excited and I look up, it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's like, you know, time to go to sleep and next day and, you know, and I start birds of a feather for new, new to Drupal at the meetups and I ask questions and then suddenly one day we're at a birds of a feather and someone asked a question I answered it and I realized I've learned a lot. I look back and it's where did I learn all this stuff I and mean, there's so many different disciplines and even the phone is Ryan that's one of my friends he's a sysop expert so he knows far more than I do. You know, but we, but I can speak to them at a level, and it's good. I mean, it's knowledge that I taught myself. I own it, and it's a good feeling knowing that you have these skills. And skills is something, and knowledge is something that can never be taken away from you. They're yours. You walk away, do whatever you want with it. You know, it, you can work for a company, have accounts. The company decides to fold, sold, or get rid of you. They get the accounts. They can't get your knowledge. And you're all now empowered to go out and to do what you want. You have control. 
And I'm, you know, I like control. I like controlling my destiny. I've done that all my life. Pay for it in some ways, but still, I know I'm in charge. Yeah. Me too. And so, I'm looking here. I'm, I'm looking how many people are on the session. It's, it's a nice amount of people. I'm even happy about, you know, organizing this, getting <laughs> this up and running, you know, giving, the, giving back to the community that gave me free knowledge, because that's what it did. There is no charge for Drupal. It's free. But it's free in the fact that you're a community and you need to, you need to give back some way. There's um, a session being given on helping back, doing documentation, adding code, troubleshooting, help out with Drupal events, help with meetups. You know, volunteer, give back, you know, an hour or two a month if you can. It's important because no one's getting paid for this. But we all got benefits. So, and see, so, 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 and, and so, who else is on on the on the call? Who wants to join in? Ruthie, you you want to pop up and say hello? Here I am. You there, Ruthie? Here I am. There she comes. Hi. Hey, hey Ruthie. Hey, Ruthie. Hey guys. Just want to say how proud I am of you, all of you, and some of the people who are not here on this call, but who have really been doing amazing work. Um, I think somebody else said uh, something about the fact that um, the skills that you learn here are also applicable to other places in your life. So hopefully you've learned some really technical skills, and you've learned some really um, useful skills. And I think kudos to the union because this only extends helps extend your uh work your work in your in your daytime job and i think that's that's a win for everybody so i think that's really great and what ruthie says actually is very true the logic that you apply to do a drupal site or coding is logic that applies in many many other places. And I once read a book on script, writing scripts, and I was amazed how much the book on writing scripts could be applied to writing programming scripts. The, the book I was reading is how to write a screenplay. I often have the same information, less is more. Make sure that you declare your variables or declare your things beforehand. And if you look at a movie like um, Lethal Weapon, in the beginning, he, he does the trick where in the straight jacket to win the bet. Well, they did so in the end of the movie, they throw him in the water. You can see him breaking out of the jacket. That was a variable being declared earlier. So you find logic that you can use anywhere else in your life. And it's helpful. And you get a discipline, how to go for details. So you know, I'm now a little more detail oriented. Look at the site. Look how clean it is. Does it answer all the questions? The little skills that help you are in many different ways and help me communicate better. My, my doing this, my, my speaking at Drupal meetups, helped me speak in public better so I didn't get as nervous. I slow down my speak, my speech. Um, I can speak a lot faster. My normal way of speaking is I speak at this late and I tell you what's going on and people don't know what I'm saying because I'm talking so fast. That was my normal speech pattern. Time my life. You know, I'm a New Yorker. What do you want? Yep. No. Well, <laughs> okay. Doug, a um, Doug put down an email here to um, so if you want to do pass the entrance exam, an email how to how to get in our courses. Um, the the advantage is is that it doesn't matter where you are when we do the online courses. You know, you don't have to tr go down to the old mercantile building, where, which was taken over by CWA. I think they're moving again. I'm not sure. But, you know, there's no, you don't have to take the subway. It's easy to get to. I know that for many of the students, you know, they came after work. And they were delayed at work. They, they, tough, they tough to get in on time, catch up. Sometimes the terminals won't work in the way they're supposed to be. And... It was trial by fire, but you know, the ones who cared made it. 
the ones who didn't care, so they moved on to other things. You know, I mean, I made the joke in the beginning, look to your left, look to your right, most of you won't be done at the end, at the end of the course. You know, it's kind of like the SEAL team, except the SEALs have it easy. And Ruthie is a great teacher. She brought me into this. I appreciate that. And I really enjoy the teaching. You know, it's, it's, I enjoy bringing my knowledge to people. Okay. And so we'll have announcement of discipline soon. I know that's imminent. Um, I was speaking to Doug about that earlier this week. And Ruthie will be teaching. I'll be teaching. And, you know, our world has changed, and fortunately for us, the world's more dependent on us than ever before. Well, so, who, so I see a lot of people on the list asking my questions. So all the people that are on this session, how many people are new to Drupal? Not, obviously not the people talking, but people in the audience. Just ping, ping if you want. So, all right, any, any questions from people out there? Someone's gonna have there. Okay. Um, all right, so here we go, some people talking about, yeah, I mean, I mean DA, it's not that, that much of a difference. There's some new nifty things. What's really nice about D8 is web forms by our own um, Jacob Rockowitz, who is not giving a talk this time, but he will be at our Drupal meetup. By the way, we have monthly Drupal meetups, which you also attend. They're all online now. They used to be in person. We used to have it at 30 Rockefellers. And then we move, we're about to move to um, Cloudflare, and then the pandemic hit. Um, but that's great. We're getting responses already. Good. I mean, we, we want to teach you. It's not expensive compared to other, especially compared to other courses. And we want more Drupal leasters out there. We want to build, build, get the word out to your friends. You know, find people who may never want to be in Drupal, never think about it, but they're unemployed. They need jobs. The skill you can learn at home. You can spend it out. I have a friend complaining he's can't earn money. I said, you've had the last five months with nothing to do every day, and you're watching TV. Why in hell are you not learning new skills? You know, bettering yourself. Okay. And we want other Drupal experts. We want to mentor, advise, help out because it's helpful. You know, maybe we'll, we'll moderate, change the way to do things a little bit. So we do a little bit more on one. It's a little more difficult to do it online. You know, when we're when we're in a classroom, Ruth and I can test. You know, we can bounce back and forth between two students next to each other, and they can help each other. A little harder to do that online. I want to say that um, when we, um, when we were uh, even when we were working in the classroom, there's a lot of online resources and there's a lot of ability to work, there were uh, sessions in the evening, there were a lot of sessions that we did remotely where w we did homework help and things like that. So those we those will still all be available. I don't think we'll have a difficult time moving it online. Yeah. And then I, I tend to go a little off syllabus as my, as my students can tell, jump into other tools and other things that are out there. I don't know That's if I lose them. Sometimes. Make up for it. And my feeling is I lose them today. <laughs> yeah, but but I, I think down the road they suddenly put it all together, like, you know, almost like wax on, wax mm -hmm. off. Road, yes. what was going on? Mm -hmm. You know, teaching about the you know the toolbars. Teaching there's so much to learn, and there's so much I don't know. I could spend all my days learning. You know. I constantly teach myself new things. I constantly go to courses. You know, if it is Composer, you know, that's a tricky. And anyone who doesn't know what Composer is, it's a PHP um, tool to pull down PHP dependencies. So it helps you if you, if you want to install 
Drupal and City Serum correctly, Composer is easier to use, but gets away from the way we used to learn, which is download the files, upload them to your server, and install. And Composer gets a little antsy at times. It doesn't play well 100% with Drupal. You know, they're getting better at it. But it's just a different thing to learn, you know, command lines. You know, yeah, I like it because it makes it a little tougher for mundanes or regular people to do everything, so it keeps us a little more job security. You know, Foursquare, Wix, and Glee, and all the other ones, they took out a lot of the web business. If you're an independent web designer, for people with a little budgets, it's good, but you still lost a lot of the lower end business, which is easy to get to when you're new. And if business is dead, you grab the low end stuff to, to help you out. You know, this makes it a little harder again. And so that's about where we are right now. We still have five more minutes. Anyone tell me any good Drupal stories or any, any things they hit that, um, you know, unusual Drupal experiences they learned about? I mean, I, I, know, I know all you guys have been through a lot moving your servers over. You know, what have you learned? What's some unique stuff you learned was going to be a problem? Yes, we, we did a little bit of accessibility. Uh, unfortunately, accessibility becomes something that's part of the budget. Uh, so it, it, it's been brought up with the owners of the sites and their need for more accessibility. Um, and I can speak to Doug a little bit more about that. And talking about accessibility for people that are um, that are sight impaired or have other issues to make things easier for them to enjoy and utilize the site and get information out of it. So Yolanda, what's the biggest thing you've learned in Drupal? In fact, what it would be, uh, well, I think I always make things more difficult. And then like Mary will make a suggestion and it's like, oh, just do it this way. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Why am I making it harder for myself? When it's so easy, there there's always a simple way to do something. But thanks, Mary, for your inner Tina <laughs> for showing me a simple way. I, I like the fact that we all help each other and being a part of the support team in general to help other apprentices also. I didn't see myself really liking that, but I do. It's not the reason I took the course either, but I, I do enjoy helping other apprentices when they come on board. The camaraderie and the willingness to help one another is great. That's how mm -hmm. we learn from each other, also in the process. Or, you know, by teaching someone else, you might, you know, learn something new or see it at a different point of view. Okay. Each one teach one. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Good thing to have. Good philosophy. All right. Well, we have another two minutes, but um. I think we've gone through everything. Thank you guys really for taking to your lunch hour to speak. You know, I know I, I, I feel like a little bit of pressure on you okay. to get you to talk. You know, I'm us. really happy you did. So, yeah. okay. Have a good weekend. Have a good day. Weekend. Bye.